Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest, and today we're gonna go over how to grow your email list from scratch, and we're gonna get you from zero to 5,000 subs quickly. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching you how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how to grow your email list quickly, and I'm actually currently growing at a rate of about 20 to 40 emails per day. And as I continue building everything, I can see that the rate is gonna keep increasing and with the way I do things, there are no paid ads needed to get to this number as I've done everything organically. So that's what I'm gonna teach you guys, how to do this all organically without paid traffic. Now, email is critical to any business. Email lists are something you own, whereas if one day your social media platform shut down, you may essentially lose your entire follower base. That's why I recommend you have to start doing email marketing. Now, the main way to grow your email list is to offer a free lead magnet. So what is lead magnet? It's basically an incentive that marketers offer to their audience in exchange for their email address. Your relationships with your audience are like friendships. It's pretty common, you know, for marketers to want to tell people to buy, buy, buy. And when you're asking someone to buy, you're asking them to do something for you. But you know, think about friendships. You always ask your friends to like do stuff for you without giving anything back to them. No, it's a mutually beneficial relationship where you want to be around each other and you know you have each other's backs. You have to deliver value to your audience before they start trusting you and investing in your products. Now, the key to doing this is to figure out what your niche is and what your audience wants. Figure out what your brand represents and what topic you're focused on. Then you can start figuring out what your audience needs. So you can do this through market research, straight up asking people on IG stories is an easy way to get some answers and just talking to people in person. So for me, my audience likes to learn about how to make money passively, how to travel as a digital nomad and how to manage their finances to get to a good place. So knowing all these different things, I basically offer a ton of different offerings. So currently I actually have six different main offerings so far. So I have the passive income toolkit. I have the Etsy crash course. I have the blogging crash course, the digital nomad toolkit, the managing your finances toolkit, and the 21 ways to make extra money guide. So these are my main offerings, but I do have some other small offerings that you can find like on different blog posts. But these are the main ones that most people sign up for when they get to my website. Now it actually took a lot of time for me to make these offerings and time to kind of narrow down my audience's needs. So I spent a few years kind of building out content and then I realized later on that I needed to make these offerings to build up my list. And then I really started taking time to think, okay, what would be some offerings that they would sign up for? I like started writing down all these different freebie ideas and then came up with these six main offerings. Now, in order to make these freebies, I actually use PowerPoint for a lot of them. So if you see like my 21 ways to make extra money guide, I actually went into PowerPoint, created the slides, but made the template like an 8.5 by 11. And then I made them, designed them and everything like that. But you can definitely like hire this out if you wanted to so if you made like an ebook you can probably go on Fiverr and get someone to make it nice for you and this is the same for my toolkit so I have like the passive income toolkit these were all created through PowerPoint actually and then for the courses I use a combination of Thrive Architect it's like this landing page builder so I use that to create my landing pages and then I recorded videos that I embedded on them so I put that on like YouTube and then use the embed code and put that on those landing pages and then I also use ConvertKit to deliver the email sequences of information. Seems kind of complicated, but basically for these three day and five day courses, I would send them an email every day for five days and then it would lead to a landing page with the video information. So that's basically how I delivered it through ConvertKit and through Thrive Architect and embedding videos onto those landing pages. So I'll link those resources below if you guys are interested in kind of going that route. So now you've gotten your freebie, right? So how do you start driving traffic to it to start getting emails? So now in order to put these up, you're gonna need to have a landing page. So the great thing is instead of buying landing page creators, you can actually just create it through ConvertKit, the email marketing solution that I use. So I totally recommend ConvertKit because it's kind of like an all-in-one solution, right? It allows you to create forms and landing pages. And you can just do it directly there. So if you look at my screen here, all you have to do is just go to landing pages and you can create a selection of landing pages here. You'll be able to add your freebie. And whenever people sign up for your freebie, like through this landing page or through a form, you'll basically be capturing their emails. Now, after you've created this freebie and you've put it on this landing page or on this form, how are you gonna start marketing it and growing your email list? So here are the main ways that I do it. First, I drive traffic on my website through SEO. So what I mean by that is I write articles on my website and optimize them in a way to rank them on Google. So I get about 30,000 page views a month currently on digitalnomadquest.com and that actually came from years of writing articles. And then as they land on each post, I have an offering embedded at the bottom of each article and I have offerings at the front page of my website 
website as well as the top bar of the website. So you can see it here, right? I have a bunch of these different offerings that people can sign up for. And for my blog posts, I usually have the offering related to the blog post that I talked about so that it makes sense after you read everything that you would sign up for. Pop-ups usually do pretty well too. So you can also try adding a pop-up on your website as well to get people to sign up. So secondly, I put links in my YouTube description and pinned comments. So I put specific offerings based on the type of content I put on my YouTube. So you can see them in my description below. And I also sometimes put it in my pinned comments if it makes sense to. So in my description, I do have a bunch of different links of like products of like courses that I have or the freebies as well as affiliate products I promote. When it's applicable, I try to put the link at the top for the free offering that might be relevant to my audience based off of the video that's up. So for example, if I made a video on Etsy, I might put the three day crash course link at the top so that they will be incentivized to click it right after they watch the video. Now third, I put these links in my TikTok bio and my Instagram bio. So you can use Linktree. It's basically like this platform where you can create your own little landing page. You can put all your resources there where people can just click on it and sign up for whatever they're interested in. But I created something similar to Linktree where people are led to like a landing page of my own links. It's a page that's directly from my website. So this this includes my free crash courses as well as other products that I recommend and they can just sign up for that and learn from that. So basically all the links that I put in these bios on YouTube and whatever is all stuff that I personally recommend or it's a course I created or like a free toolkit I created and I'm trying to give value to my audience. So basically as you can see you're driving traffic to your landing page through SEO and social media. Now when they sign up, you wanna make sure you're segmenting your list. So on ConvertKit, they also allow you to segment your list so that every time someone signs up for your forms, you can actually tag them. So if they sign up for my Etsy crash course, I can tag them with the tag Etsy or something like that. So in ConvertKit, all you need to do is click automations and then create a new automation and put in the sequence. So for example, you can put in, if someone enters your Etsy form, you'll tag them with Etsy and then deliver an email sequence to them. That way you can personalize your offerings to them in the future. So if they sign up for a YouTube tutorial, you pretty much ask them, hey, Ashley, how is your YouTube channel going? Because you've segmented your list and tagged them with a tag like YouTube because they sign up for your YouTube offering, you're able to send a broadcast email to them that's more personalized saying, you know, how's your channel going? This feels more personal to them and they're more likely to open the email because you've tailored it to them. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide on how to grow your email list from scratch. You should be able to kind of grow your following from zero to 5,000 subs or maybe more. And again, I highly recommend converting kit so make sure to check it out in the link below if you guys want to you know create your landing pages upload your freebies and start sending them email sequences it just makes it so much easier and you can try that out for free let me know in the comments below if this guide helped subscribe hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos and i'll see you guys in the next one